Today in Ann Arbor, Michigan looks to take the victor's walk to Rich Rodriguez's first victory with the Wolverines. A rebuilding effort of sorts for him and for Michigan Stadium as the big house morphs into a bigger house and the Mason Blues suit up for the love of the M. The opponent today also wears an M. Miami, Ohio, which is not afraid to invade this enemy's territory. They go for the upset now. Absolutely perfect Saturday in Ann Arbor as the Wolverines look for their first win this season, taking on Miami, Ohio. Miami went 6-7, and seven, lost to Central Michigan in the MAC title game a year ago. Positive yardage on first down as they plow ahead for about five. Thomas Merriweather. That was Thomas Merriweather early in this game. It's not a small Miami team as they run Merriweather, and he bounces off the tacklers to the 34. A total of 17 starters back from the Miami team that won its division in the MAC. On third and one, they'll try to run Merriweather, and Michigan all over it. Terrence Taylor, the outstanding nose tackle for the Wolverines, makes the play. We're just a little bit short. We saw... Rich Rodriguez told us yesterday that we'll see how it goes. If Reed plays well, he may play the whole game. Yeah, he's a highly recruited quarterback out of high school. That You mentioned the fact he went to Georgia Tech and then elected to come back close to home here at Michigan. The play fake and the toss and a wide open man pulled in by Odoms. Inside the 40-yard line. They can't bring him down. Finally tackled at the 27. Biggest play of the season for Michigan. Yeah, very nice play fake by Stephen Threek, the quarterback, inside to Sam McGuffey, which set this whole thing up. The entire defense went with Sam McGuffey. Watch him go fall inside, and an excellent uh, little toss out to uh, Martavius Odoms, and he is good after the kicks. He's a true freshman, caught five balls last week. A ton of true freshmen on offense for Michigan. Running play to another rookie, Sam McGuffey. Powers to the 22. Robbie Wilson made the tackle. Defensively, they gave up too many against Van Vanderbilt last week and it cost him that ball game. Here's the fullback, Mundros getting the first down to the 15. Rodriguez does like to utilize fullbacks. He's a Texas legend. Not playing today for Michigan. Their leading returning receiver from last year, Greg Matthews, due to an ankle injury. Here's three on the run. Not many people think that he can do that, but he picks up about seven or eight yards on first down. Boy, he's a guy 6'6", 230 pounds. He's so it's second and four. Three gonna walk in. What a fake. And a Michigan touchdown on its opening drive. Is that Pat White or Stephen Three <laughs> with that ball fake and run? Right, excellent play fake inside to Sam McGuffey. And you're so concerned about the running ability of, of uh, Sam McGuffey. Nice little play fake underneath right here, and you're going to see just watch Stephen three. The play fake, and then Sam McGuffey, the entire defense goes with McGuffey and a big hole for three to run through. Travis Craven had no idea. He was the backside defensive end, and he totally got turned around as the extra point is good to make it 7-0 Michigan. Yeah. After that Appalachian State game, and ran all over Michigan last year. Fumble on the exchange. Looked like there was some movement before the snap, but a penalty flag was not thrown. No, no flag, so. Obiese has the ball for Michigan. He's back at the 40-yard line. He's got the ball, and it is Michigan football. I think uh, Daniel Rodabaugh thought that he was going to get himself an offsides penalty on the Michigan front four right there. The ball was snapped, and uh, Daniel Rodabaugh didn't handle it. One of those defenders uh, for Michigan. You think the center had the wrong count there? He snapped. Nobody else moved. Yeah. Here's McGuffey. Down to the 30. Gain of five on first down. Joe Coniglio made the tackle and some pushing and shoving. The right thing to do at a place like Michigan rather than try to adjust to what's already in place. Second down and five at the Miami 30-yard line. McGuffey again. And this time gets wrapped up behind the line of scrimmage by Brandon Stevens as we go back to the studio and say hello to Wendy Nix. And Tony Romo not available for Eastern Illinois as that pass is thrown incomplete. Intended for Junior Hemingway, who's getting a lot of action today. Suffered a shoulder injury in the spring. 
with a 47 yard try here. And it's good. Two straight weeks, a long field goal by Lopata, 47 today, 50 last week. And it's 10 to nothing, Michigan. Can Miami bounce back and do anything on offense? He's going to have to bring in players that fit this system, and that's going to take some time for Michigan. Radabaugh on the roll-off. They told us they wanted to move the pocket a bit. Radabaugh with a nice throw, and it's a first down catch by Chris Givens. Was there as the offensive coordinator. That's what we thought this team would resemble. Merriweather on the carry, and he has the first down. But it looks as though they have a little bit more. And people sometimes mistakenly think it's a running offense, but remember when Illinois beat Ohio State as that pass is pulled in by Rodgers for a Miami first down. Juice Williams threw four touchdown passes. Fantastic season this year. Rodaball looking deep. He's got the arm to make the throw, and what a grab inside the 10. Dustin Woods pulls it in. First down, Miami. Well, Daniel Rodabaugh, we said fundamental. Miami has looked. They've got a chance to be within a field goal. Merriweather plows between the tackles. Good hard run to about the six. All he's got to do is pull it, and he's wide open. Instead, they fumble the exchange for the second time. Rodabaugh does recover the last time Michigan recovered. All eyes on Rodabaugh on third and goal. Radabaugh lost it. It's fumbled forward. Ruled a fumble. I think they're going to rule it as a pass. Brandon Graham on the hit. No, they're, they're ruling it a fumble on the field. The 10, you've got to go <laughs> push towards the end zone. Nathan Parsegian nails it from 26 yards. And if that name sounds familiar, it should. He is the great-grandnephew of Era Parsegian, former Miami and Notre Dame head coach. So Miami on the board. Red Hawks would have liked seven. Five points. We'll figure it out in the second half. You know Jim Trestle will let him have it at halftime. As Nick Sheridan's coming into the game, a quarterback for Michigan. Sheridan started last week against Utah through a touchdown pass and an interception and then was replaced in the third quarter by Stephen Free. Why do you think they're doing this? I have no idea. Stephen Three looked look pretty good in the first quarter. Sheridan, a smaller quarterback at six feet tall, hands off for Kevin Grady. Maybe they just want to give Sheridan some work, but you're backed up inside your 15-yard line. Trino. Obviously sitting out this year. Second down and nine. Sheridan finds McGuffey, but good job defensively by Miami. Morris Council out there with a notice. Yeah, it just seems like an odd time to make the change. They don't convert this here as Sheridan runs. It's going to be a short field for Miami, and Sheridan does come up a very yard shy of the first down. Ryan Kennedy on the tackle. Now Michigan, you would think, would punt the ball yeah. on fourth down and two as we near the two-minute mark, but... Almost now they feel, bring on the kicking unit here. Almost feels as though they're breathing life into the lungs of uh, the Miami players here. Big play, a big pass, and come away with a field goal. Now three showed in that first half that he's a better runner. You saw that touchdown run on the opening highlight. Here's a reverse, and three trying to throw a block. And Odom's taken down after maybe a gain of one. Certainly come up and do some damage. And there's Mullins right on cue, Mr. Ware. Sam McGuffey, the true freshman, taken down for a loss today. I don't know if he's got the John Lynch neck. Third down and 11. And three overthrows Hemingway, who is open. Incomplete. Three and out for Michigan's offense on its first possession of the second half. Just 25% on third down. Conversion rate in the first half. Radabaugh's pass pulled in. First down Miami. Rodgers inside the 40. That pass was very close to being intercepted. But Ohio's been in this position before and haven't been able to come up with points. Tenth play of the drive. Merriweather tripped up after maybe two to the 11-yard line. Radabaugh has a man open. Caught inside the 10-yard line by Donovan Potter. His first catch of the game. He had 10 last year as a freshman. Third down and three at the six-yard line. Radabaugh apparently changing things up. Play clock at five. Radabaugh with the fade. And it is 
is knocked away at the last second incomplete. What a great play as Gibbons looked like he had a touchdown. And Harrison and Brown on the coverage for Michigan. Well, Brandon Harrison, what an excellent play. You wait for the receiver to bring his hands up, and you start to play the football. He didn't try to play the ball. He went through the receiver at his hands right there, seeing him. He was beaten, but what an excellent recovery right there to just rake the ball. That is how you play the position of defensive back. Once a guy has his hands on it, you make sure you rake the football away. And I guess uh, Shane Montgomery feeling, you know, we drove this far down the field. We better get something out of it. So it's a 23-yard field goal try on fourth down and three from Nathan Parsegian. Made a 27-yarder in the first half, and Miami is within four at Miami. And Merriweather's really done a good job following his blocks. Radabaugh with time. Man wide open! Oh, that would have been a touchdown! That pass was a little bit too hot for Chris Gibbons. He couldn't pull it in. Otherwise, Miami may have the lead. Boy, Chris Gibbons has been <laughs> a fingernail away from two excellent plays. Third down and 11. Radabaugh has to step up. He's in trouble. And down he goes at the 37-yard line. Brandon Graham, the first to greet him. And Miami will be forced to punt. You know, if Miami goes on to lose this game, they're going to have nobody to blame but themselves with their errors. It hasn't been Michigan. It's Don't outplayed them. around, down just four. Nick Sheridan in a quarterback for Michigan. Right or wrong decision by Rich Rodriguez? Well, you know, it's, a, it's kind of a gamble, but you took that when you replaced three early. McGuffey trying to get to the outside, showing off his speed. Picks up the first down and then rattled out of play at the 24. And a penalty flag flies in. Late hit out of bounds. Stevens and Bennett over there for Miami. Really uncalled for teammates. They play Brett Favre in the Jets tomorrow. Here's a big third down. McGuffey out in space. Gets the first down and more. Breaks a tackle. Finally bumped out of bounds at the 15-yard line. Sam McGuffey is the real deal. Just watch him. When you get him out of space, it's hard to get him down because he's so quick and so shifty. But right here by Nick Sheridan, just get the football in his hands, starts picking up blocks, and he's got nice, good speed for a guy his size. When we talk about going to be special for Rich Rodriguez, he is. He's just a true freshman, another true fresh. Martavius Odoms had the block downfield. Now Brandon Miner. Breaks a tackle at the 10 to the 5. Dives! He's in! Touchdown, Michigan! Seven-yard scoring drive as Brandon Miner gives Michigan for now with 10-point lead. Lopata on for the PAT, and he missed it. Trouble with the snap and the hold by Mesco, and it's a 10-point game. Well, Michigan finally with a touchdown. After scoring on its first drive, it takes him to the fourth quarter to get another TD, but they missed the extra point. Belton, though, is going to get sacked. Terrence Taylor blows up the line of scrimmage and then takes down the quarterback inside the 20. Well, that's his second sack of the season. He had a sack last week against Utah. He is the uh, true definition of a nose tackle, about six foot, a little over 300 pounds. But you see the swim move and then the inside, uh, inside move to the quarterback. Man, he is super quick for a guy his size. He just tries to mold it into something that he likes. That pass incomplete. Belton trying to hit Gibbons. Hard to tell whether that was a catchable ball or not, but Miami's receivers have had some drops today. From his days at West Virginia, that first year he was 3-8 and eight and just 1-6 and six in the Big East, and the next year he went 6-1 and one in the conference. Pass flutters to the 34 and drops incomplete. Brandon Harrison bringing pressure that time. 20 for Clay Belton in the Miami offense. Last chance for the Red Hawks. And Belton is going to get sacked again. Brandon Graham as Michigan's defensive line just teeing off. 
That's the second sack today for Graham. Well, that's just padding the stats right there. If you're a defensive lineman in a situation where you're up by 10, you know, now I got a chance to add to my sack total. He had a sack last week as well against Utah, but watch the outside move here. Nice bull rush right through the right tackle. Okay, their favorite formation. It wasn't an easy win for Michigan, but the Wolverines will take it 16 to 6 as Rich Rodriguez gets his first victory as Michigan head coach. The Wolverines are now 24 and 0 all time against the Mac. Good fight by Shane Montgomery's Miami squad. Final score. Michigan. But Michigan wins it by 10. Stay tuned. College football scoreboard presented by Acura is coming up next. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Tune into ESPN News for our postgame extra in a few moments. For Andre Ware and our entire crew, I'm Dave Pash. Congratulations, Rich Rodriguez. So long from Ann Arbor. Now Wendy Nixon, Jesse Palmer in the studio. Guys.